guys and welcome to a brand new doll box opening video uh, two days ago I managed to get the Yuzuha like the normal version from Yahoo auction at a very decent price so I'm very happy about that I'm going to have like the full 10 doll in the series of the Twinkle Alamode and it's pretty exciting so yesterday what I wanted to do was to open um, my last two limited doll, Maya and Lise. So you can see here already Alisa and Sarah and the Yuzuha limited version from the previous video. But if you remember one of my vlog, uh, I think it's the one where I go to the um, um, Imperial Palace but outside, not inside the garden. So in that one, I bought actually two limited doll, the Maya and the Lise, and well, I I have been meaning to open them like for a while, but I never had kind of like the time or the will to open them, like not so much motivated anyway. So I decided yesterday that I was going to open them, and then yesterday uh, I started like going out, and because I'm doing water fast at the moment, I'm not as energetic as I normally am. So I went out, and when I came home, I was like a little bit tired. So I said, okay, I'm going to do the crocheting that I was doing, and then uh, I'm going to do the video after that. And then I was doing the crocheting and it took me some time and then my boyfriend said he was coming back home. So he came back home and I don't like to make videos when he's around. So basically all I did yesterday was this big monster. So this is a new Pokemon. It's a Gengar, if you recognize him. He just missed his eyes and mouth. But also I said, like, this, what I had to do yesterday was I think two or three knitting part and then knit all of them and it's a hell lot of parts so you have the body and you have like those horns and then you have all the spike here it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 spike and you have the tail and you have the arms and you have like legs, foot and like three toes on each and three fingers so it was like very very time consuming to see you all the part together but it's finished so just need to put the eyes I didn't want to move around and get the felt yesterday so that's why I didn't and I also sewed the sheep and made his belly so it's a little bit different than the pattern because I didn't have enough yarn to make the belly but I think it's big enough anyway so it has like tail here pretty cute so it still need a face all of them need a face basically and then because I was still not tired because you know no digestion energy so not tired at all so I got like around to finish the jumper because I went to my like to Hiki's parents place and they had this uh, place where I actually find another like yarn exactly the same so I could finish his jumper I think he looks really cool with this jumper. So he has like new shoes, new jeans and new jumpers. So like completely different than the original outfit that he had. So I'm pretty happy but uh, still I didn't open the dolls. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open the dolls. So the first one was actually the first one in the series to come out and she's a Maya. So Maya Peridot. So because they are all like related to gem and stars, that's a kind of um, theme around for this series. So let me open her. So I got her like at a second hand store, so she is like almost half price compared to the normal price I would pay. So I was really happy about that. It's like 46% discount. So, and she has never been opened before so it's just a very very good deal so uh, first I'm going to show you the box she's in like so it has her name here and you have a nice picture of her on this side and another picture of her on this side 
at the back of some explanation about Saros and the pronoun reflection body and then you have another picture on this side it's pretty cool and of course as usual like she comes with that background at the back and the little book so all of the Azon um, in the Sarah Salam of Seri come out 2x2 two two, so you already probably saw the video about the other Maya so this Maya has exactly the same outfit except it's all white instead of being like brown and green so here you have like the little story in their book and a picture of both of them and a picture of all the items that come but it's a, a version like it's always they put the items that come with the regular version and not with the limited version and then you have a picture of both of them wearing different outfit which like show you what they can look like if they are not stock anymore so basically that's it for the booklet and I made a messy uh, every time the, the glue stick out but otherwise you have pretty nice background with kind of gemstone style so now for the dolls so let me get out so she comes with an extra pair of hand like a natural hand which is my favorite and then shoes so she got cute little white shoes with this gem green gem on top with a little bow and then she has her hair accessory which is a bow with a green little gem and of course is a doll So this version of Maya actually has long hair. The other version of Maya in this series has short hair, but this one has pretty nice long hair. So let me move them a little bit. See, very long hair. And they both have the green eyes because it's a peridot thing. And she is a little bit blonder than the other one. So she's pretty cute, I guess. And of course she has like this weird posed hand as usual. So this is for Maya and so I was like pretty happy. Like I think when that Sari came out, I saw her on the other Maya and like when they announced it was going to be Twinkle and Star theme, I thought it would be like a little bit more I don't know, kind of like black with a starry sky type of doll and maybe like more glitter and more shiny style so when they came out at the first, like when I first saw the first Maya and the first well the first Maya because Maya was the first, so her and the counterpart I felt a little bit disappointed because I was expecting all those glitter and all these stars and dark color and stuff, the like galaxy style. But after a while, you know, like when you see them again and again and again, you kind of start appreciating them more. So if you don't regard the theme of stars, like they still have the little gem everywhere. And I thought I was gonna get only the colored version, but no, I have all of them in the end, so it's a little bit scary but yeah I guess it's good anyway so let me put our hair accessory and then I'm gonna go to open Lissy so here we go it's pretty cute I'm gonna take picture later so you can show her from closer up so let me put her here with her friends here we go okay so now the last one the last one is Lise and I got her also cheaper than the original because she comes from that second hand store that I like 
which doesn't have much doors but when they do they have cheap ones so it's pretty nice so Lise is for Ruby so she has like all the red theme and this one is a like red and white version so as you can see all the girls here they are pretty white in color like their outfits are pretty white but this one is a little bit more colorful see she has a lot more red on her so that's pretty nice so let me show you the box so you have like picture of her here picture of her and like description of Sarah Salamode and the flexion body and then you have her again and if you like uh, and let me remove the book back so here is our background so it's a pretty nice background I can take like pretty nice picture with that and it's kind of dark and starry maybe a, a little bit more than the others so it's pretty cool and of course our book is there again also so you have like the regular version here and you have the, this version and as you can see like this is black and red and this one is white and red but a lot less red than the previous version so their little story and then couple picture and like all the things she comes with but for the regular version color and then a picture of them together with wearing different outfits so you can see what it would be like and the thing is I decided that I was gonna get those two like Maya and this Lise because I went to the Asm store and they had like super pretty version of those doll wearing different clothes so I was like yeah I'm going to need them and maybe buy the other clothes that are in the store so yeah that's always like that like as long as it's good quality that they actually display their doll in different outfits like not not the ones they come with in the box and you can also buy this outfit so the doll are a little bit harder to find they not always have them in stock because they get sold out really really easily so here is our hair accessory but uh, they always have like outfits so you can see like if you have the doll you can go there and check out like how they put them out and then you can see the doll you have with different outfits and it kind of for me it's very helpful because I'm like kind of I'm not gonna say I'm fashion challenge but I'm a little bit fashion challenge. So here are our shoes with the bow. So it's difficult for me to actually come with like a full outfit for a doll and know what's going to look good on which doll. So when they actually do that at the as on store, it's pretty nice to see. And she has this thing to put in her back, it's pretty nice. It's like extra pieces that the other doll don't come with. Mm, how do I open it? Yeah, here. So, I like to go there and watch the dolls and then I'm like, Oh my god, I want this doll with that outfit. And because you cannot buy just the doll alone, you have to buy like the complete thing with the other outfit, like natural outfit that they come with. You can have like complete series of dolls and they look all awesome together and then you, when you take them out you just like dress them up differently and just run and go. So here is our little Lise and she has those vampire-ish green, uh, red eyes and she has like this shocker necklace with this red stone and she has pretty nice sleeves. Let me try and put on our shoes. Our shoes are a little bit more complicated to put on than the other because it's a buckle shoes. So I need to open it completely to be able to slide or fit in it. So let's see how it works.
like Azon doll have like the higher quality of clothes in all my entire doll collection because it's so detailed and like you have like so many port on the outfit you can just like remove one port like not so much for the Sarah Salam mode but for the execute they come with like a huge 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 amount of layers so whenever you take the layer out you can just have a completely different outfit for the doll so let me try on the second shoe it's working fine today so here we go see open the thing completely and her shoes are pretty nice like the Maya shoes were a little bit tight but this one are pretty easy to put on probably because she has like a little bit more fabric at the back of her at her heel so it's easier to put on okay and then slide everything back in the buckle here we go so now she has her shoes on And the hair accessory, give me a second. Oh, wrong direction. Here we go. Isn't she so pretty? She's adorable. I think she's really really cute. And I don't I don't remember like the picture I was talking about of her wearing different clothes. Are probably somewhere around on my Facebook or even in the videos so let me try and put the bow at the back of our outfit uh, I don't know where it should go okay here there is a little something okay see it's so pretty and you can see it from the back here hanging out it's just so pretty and our, our skirt is just so big like it's going up so much because it has so many layers underneath it's really really cool it's a really nice shape I guess anyway guys so that's all for today I'm going to put some pictures I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumb up or a comment. And see you next time for something else. Have fun whatever you do. Bye!